Good morning, it's your girl Princess with the Truth Hills Hurt video. I'ma jump right in and jump right on out. I um, came to do what thus says the Lord. Uh, it's a sad situation when you're asking for something, but you won't do your part. It's a terrible situation. Uh, I have talked to several people who continue to do whatever they want to do in their situations, act however they want to act, go wherever they want to go, eat whatever they want to eat, uh, live however they want to live, and then I call Jesus, but he didn't answer. Y'all wrong for that. Y'all real wrong if you do that. Um, every opportunity that you get to do what he asks you to do, you should be doing it. Every time he wake you up, I wanted to say that like Big Mama would have said it. Every time you're behind it up, uh, you should start. Even if you don't see what your situation is going to turn out to be like. Even if you don't know what your day is going to be like. If you take the time to put God first. If you take the time to make him your option instead of your second choice. Make him your first option. Um, then you will see a difference you will see a difference in your life you will see a difference in the way that you handle your situations you'll see a difference in the way that you uh take in information or put out information there's going to be a change in your life if you read your bible like you're supposed to there's going to be a change in your life if you praise him like you're supposed to see i i, I don't understand why people feel like they ain't got to do their part uh, uh, not too long ago, a young lady said to me that, uh, I keep talking to God, but he's not talking to me. Well, let me tell you something. When are you talking to him? See, this is the truth is hurt part. When are you talking to him? When you're drunk, when you throw up, because the majority of the time you're doing whatever you want to do. And see, that's what I don't understand. Uh, most of the time when you're saying something to me, you are doing some stuff that you know hey young blood that you know you're not supposed to be doing so when are you talking to him when are you calling out to him when you're in trouble that's all uh, uh, i don't understand so listen to me if you want to see the abundant life the abundant living that god has promised promised to us and you know what's so good about God? That he does reign on the just and the unjust. He does give. Good morning, Kamika. He does give to all of us. But I'm talking about, hey, Sister Mincy, how you doing? Or Deacon Mincy. But I think it's Sister Mincy. Um, my sister. Uh, if I'm telling you, if you are wanting to see, you can actually go through a storm with the peace of God different than you're going to go through the storm without him. And so what I think uh, about people or what I think about uh, people that come to me talking about some um, God don't listen or uh, he hasn't answered or whatever. Let me tell you something about my father. Because see, like I told y'all, I'm not getting in on this crazy with y'all. Uh, I trust him. I trust him. I trust him. I trust him. I ain't got nothing else. And if I can't trust him, I really don't have nothing. If I can't have faith and hope and peace and love and all this stuff that he promised me, then I really don't have nothing. Because see, when you try everything and everything fail and you ain't tried Jesus. I'm talking about the right way. I ain't talking about calling on him when you in trouble. Because I did that already. I could talk about that. I did that already. It's easy to call on Jesus when, and it's funny that you know to call on him. So then that means you know what to do. I'm telling you, you know, uh, even if you didn't believe on him, it's funny how some people who don't even believe in God, they know how to call him. They show call him. So let me tell you something. For those of you that have a hard time, that say, I've been sick for so long and I don't um, understand. Y'all see, y'all think princess don't know what she's talking about half of the time. You think that she don't go through nothing because of a little cute self. But see, that's what happens when you go through it. I'm not telling you I'm perfect. I'm telling you that I'm trying it. I'm telling you that I'm reading my Bible. I'm telling you that I'm staying under his umbrella of love and I'm staying under that joy and I'm walking in my peace and I'm using Using these tools that he gave me to use. I'm telling you that when people start coming up against me, I don't respond the same way I used to. I know how to cuss too. I know how to roll my eyes. I know how to make faces at people. I know how to kick and fuss and fight. I'm good at fighting. But I tried Jesus because everything else had failed. I'm telling you, everything else fails. Uh, when I got my bad doctor's reports, guess what? I had to try. Tried to do what he told me to do in the midst of a bad situation. I had to try to attempt to make effort. To intentionally try to do different. 
even though I did not see the results of something different. Finances are jacked up, but guess what? I'm going to try. I'm going to believe and trust. No matter how hard it is, no matter what the situation looks like, I'm here to tell you that you got to do it anyhow, anyway. He's going to work it out. You want to see some difference in your life. You got to do the things that you're supposed to be doing. You can't be sit up here talking about something. Well, since I ain't here for him today, I do whatever I want to do. No, because let me tell you how stupid the devil is with his stuff. That's what he want, baby. He want you to sit on the sidelines. He want you to stop praying. He want you to leave that church. He want you to walk away from anything that is going to keep you connected. He want you to leave your family members and shut them down and cut them off. He want you to. That's why you got to go before God and say, God, give me love. Give me peace. Give me joy. Give me happiness. God, give me your rain. Rain on me. Please, Jesus. Rain on me. Talk to the Lord. Tell the Lord what you need. Say, Lord, I'm tired of dealing with this old crazy stuff. I talk to him just like that. Lord, I am tired. Y'all. I'm tired of this. Where these people come from? That's what I ask him. Shoulder just like that. Just like that. In my car. And ask me, do my husband, be, husband is he with me sometimes? Yeah. Because it don't even matter. Because when I need my father. Even if it's something I don't like to somebody saying to me. I said, God, did you, did you hear what they said? Oh, and I want to get him. He already know you want to get the people. He already know. He know that world is crazy. That's why come he told you, you just traveling through. You, this ain't your home. He already had promised you. Baby, you ain't got to stay here long. I just need you to endure the test of time. I need you to have trust in that bank account. I need you to have trust with your marriage. I need you to have trust. I'll give you a husband. I'll give you a wife. I need you to have trust that I'm going to make a way at this job. If I hadn't had some jacked up jobs, I wouldn't know how to praise him in the good stuff. <laughs> if I hadn't had somebody mistreat me, I wouldn't know how to appreciate who's treating me right. I'm just trying to tell y'all, we got to go through some storms. We got to go through some situations. But guess what? There is a difference when you go through them with God. The world can be falling apart, but the peace and the joy of the Lord, honey, will be your strength. You will be walking through. People be talking about why you smiling. How come you going through like this? My children ain't acting up right, but guess what? Glory be to God. They'll say your children's name and you'll go to shouting. Telling you, you'll go to shouting because you understand that your father is going to show up for you. He's going to show up for you. He's going to show up for you. So, y'all, listen. Tried everything and everything has failed. Everything going to continue to fail until you try Jesus. So, I'm asking you, try to live right. Try to walk right. Try to do right. Try Put forth some effort. Be intentional in your walk with Christ. Let me tell you about the blessings that will fall from heaven when you tell your father, God, I am going to live for you. I'm going to live for you. I'm going to uh, believe that you're going to give me those things that I need. And everything ain't materialistic, just so you know. Uh, give me the desires of my heart, God. I'm just telling you, when you try Jesus... He will answer. Yes, he will. When you walk in that, he'll be with you. He'll be with you. You won't have to guess where the way. God, where are you right now? I feel like you've gone and left me. He won't leave you. Never leave you lonely. Never leave you alone. Chase after you when you don't even deserve to be chased. So I love y'all today, but try Jesus. Try Jesus. Try Jesus. Try Jesus. Yes, I'm on a campaign for Jesus. Jesus, 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 try Jesus. Don't try him when you're in trouble. Try him now. Try him on your good day, bad day. Just try him. Every hour that I breathe, just try him. Just try him.